Hello, welcome back to the channel. This week's video will be a C-Motion Visual 3D tutorial. I'll show how you can use segmental colouring to demonstrate various variables such as segmental angular velocity, ground reaction force magnitude, or any other variable that you've calculated in Visual 3D. Stick around for the end of the video when I'll also show how you can add various bits of equipment into your Visual 3D visualizations. To start with, you'll need a C3D file recorded in Qualysys, Vicon, or any similar system, which you will then label in Qualysys Track Manager, Vicon Nexus, or any similar system, prior to fitting your model as usual in Visual 3D. If you're unfamiliar with the process of building and applying a model in Visual 3D, then I recommend you check out the excellent wiki on the C-Motion website, which I'll link to in the description below. Once you've built and applied your model, it will look something like this, at which point we can begin to apply the segment colors. To do so, we will select our segment of interest. So in this case, the left foot, right click and map segment color to a signal value. So left foot already selected. I'd normally set the minimum color to white and for the maximum, something like red stands out and contrasts quite well. For the mean value based on our signal, if red is 25500 on an RGB system, then go somewhere halfway between, which means that both green and blue will be 128. But you can obviously choose whatever color system you want. We will then save that color map so that we can quickly load it and apply it to different segments later on. Apply the color to a signal that you're interested in visualizing, in this case, the ground reaction force and the Z or vertical component. Apply the colorization, and we should now have that left foot colored, scaled to the magnitude of the vertical ground reaction force, which we can see upon the landing. So now we'll go through and apply the same thing to all of the other segments we want to display. Moving on to the left shank, but we can now load our previously saved color map we will need to apply it to the vertical ground reaction force again. We can save all mappings throughout the body so that this can also be quickly applied another time. Apply that and we will now have two segments colored based on the ground reaction force magnitude. That can be quite time consuming to do, however, if we're processing multiple trials or multiple participants, and so we can add that process into our visual 3D pipeline. We do so through the map segment color to signal value command, which you can edit in the same way that I just showed doing manually. Once you execute the pipeline, that will then apply to all trials that are active within the workspace. I've shown what this would look like to illustrate the ground reaction force by coloring the lower limb segments. However, other alternatives could include coloring every segment within the body according to its own segmental angular velocity in order to illustrate the timing of segmental rotations through the body. Or you could color the entire body according to one key variable of interest, such as in this case, the angular separation between the pelvis and thorax segments. As an interesting side note, anybody who doesn't have access to Visual 3D is able to download a free CMO reader from the CMotion website in which they can open your workspace file if you share it with them, and they can then interact with all of your trials, your visualizations, so they can zoom in and out, drag it around, change the view settings, etc. For the final part of this video, I will run through how you can add various bits of equipment into your visualizations. There are many options of websites available that I like free3d.com, but anything where you can download 3D object files will work. For my example, I'm going to use a cricket bat. So I just search for cricket bats. A few options come up and I select one of the free ones. Download and save the files. To do so, we'll select the bat segment. We will then browse and apply our model file where we saved it after the download. This will be the .obj, obj. And just to check, We'll also add in the material file, apply the model, and now we have a bat in our static trial. Just to check the dynamic trial, which now also has that bat within it, 
and we're able to apply the colouring to that bat in the same way as we did for any other segment earlier in the video. To show another example, instead of only additional segments such as a bat, it's possible to use existing segments such as the head or shank to apply additional objects such as a helmet or pads. So here's one example of cricket batting with bat, helmet and two pads. And then another example in badminton, we have a racket, but also applying the segmental colouring, as I mentioned earlier, based on segmental angular velocity, just to put it all together at the end. If you want to move beyond the provision of nice looking graphics and reports and actually use the feedback that we can provide in a useful manner to improve performance, then I recommend you check out this recent paper in the Journal of Biomechanics by Paul Glazier, which I'll link to in the description below. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like the video. It really helps the channel to grow. If you've got any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to see, please leave a comment. And if you want to stay up to date with future videos, then please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thank you very much.